Hello, I'm Bobby Galuba with ubitech.com and welcome to my fourth video recorded on Thursday, April 2nd, 2015. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a button to your quick launch toolbar in Windows XP so that instead of going through a series of clicks to shut your computer down, uh, you can um, single left click on a button and it'll shut it down in just one click. So normally in Windows XP, you single left click on the start button, then single left click on shut down, and then single left click on OK, making sure that shut down is selected in the drop down list here. Okay? But we don't want to do that. We want to eliminate some of those steps. Uh, so let's go ahead and we'll do that. I'm going to single left click on cancel here, and I'm going to show you how to add a shortcut to the quick launch toolbar so that you can just single left click on it and it'll shut it down. So the first thing we want to do is display the quick launch toolbar. So go down to the taskbar, which is this blue air, this blue bar down at the bottom of your screen. We want a single right click, then hover over the word toolbars, then single left click on quick launch. All right, so now you can see the quick launch toolbar here. And you can see uh, an icon for Internet Explorer and an icon to show the desktop. So the next thing we want to do is we want to kind of adjust the size of the uh, quick launch toolbar so that we'll have room to display our new button. So we want to single right click on the taskbar and then single left click on lock the taskbar. And notice that there's a check mark right here. When we single left click on it, that check mark will go away and the taskbar will be unlocked. So let's single left click on lock the taskbar. And now you can see there's a little dotted handle that you can slide to the right to increase the width of the quick launch toolbar. So I'm going to hold down on my left mouse button. And if you see the icon changes slightly, and I'm going to drag it to the right. Then I'm going to let go of my left mouse button. All right, now the next step what, uh, that we want to take is to create the uh, shortcut to uh, use for our button. So let's single right click on the desktop, hover over the word new, then single left click on shortcut. So we're going to create a new, sh a new shortcut. Now what we want to do is we want to type in the shutdown command along with uh, several options uh, in order to perform the command that we want it to perform, which would be to shut the computer down. So we're going to type in shutdown, then type a space, then type dash s so that it knows to actually shut the computer down. Then we're going to type a space again, and then type dash t, then a space, and that uh, dash t indicates how much time to delay uh, between actually executing the command and then actually shutting the computer down. So we don't want any delay, we want it to shut down immediately. So we're going to uh, type in 00 for our delay. So that's going to be 0 seconds for the delay. Now we want to single left click on next. And you'll see up at the top it has the name shutdown for the shortcut. And you can change that if you like, but we'll, we'll leave it as shutdown for now. So single left click on the finish button. And there's our shortcut right here. Now, what we want to do is we want to change the appearance of the icon so that it looks like the typical red shutdown button. So we're going to single right click on the shortcut, then we'll single left click on properties. Next, we'll single left click on the change icon button, <coughs> and you'll see this message displayed that uh, says you need to choose an icon from the list or specify a different file. So we'll single left click on OK. Now here's a shutdown button that you can use but it's pretty large. I like to use a smaller one that you can uh, get to if you scroll over to the right. So we're going to single left click multiple times on this little uh, right arrow on the scroll bar. So keep single left clicking now you can also, if you want to, you can single 
left click and hold down your left mouse button on this little slider here. So I'm going to single left click and hold and I'm going to drag it to the right and there is the icon that I was talking about. It's a little bit smaller. So I'm going to single left click on that red icon then I'm going to single left click on, a, on the OK button. And then if you see here there's a picture of that icon that we just selected. Now we want to single left click on OK in the shutdown properties window. And now our icon has that typical red shutdown uh, look or r typical red shutdown button look. So the next thing we want to do is we want to drag this shutdown shortcut down into the uh, area for the quick launch toolbar. So I'm going to hold down with my left mouse button on the icon and then I'm going to drag it down here so that it's inserted at the beginning of the list. And if I get it just at the right position here, let's see if I can... Okay, oops. Takes a little takes a little while here. Actually, let's try it over there and then let's put it back there. There we go. If you see that left or if you see that vertical black bar, that indicates where the icon is going to be placed when I let go of my left mouse button. So, I'm going to let go of my left mouse button. And there it is. There's the icon uh, that I can use to single left click and shut down my computer. Now what I want to do is I want to adjust the size of the quick launch toolbar before I lock my taskbar. So I'm going to hold down on my left mouse button as I'm hovering over these little dots of the handle. I'm going to hold down on my left mouse button and I'm going to drag it to the left. Okay. Now I'm going to let go of my left mouse button and there we go. Now to lock the taskbar I'm going to single right click on the taskbar again and then I'm going to single left click on lock the taskbar. And there we go. So I have now added uh, a button which I can single left click on to shut down my computer. I hope you learned something and uh, thank you very much for watching.